amalgamation of all of TV genres thrown together. Sort of meshed. Yeah. That's what. Um, you've done three shows, Red vs. Blue, Strangerhood and Panics. Yep. Um, which has been easier to make and why? Red vs. Blue. Red vs. Blue is easiest to make, right? Yeah. Just um, the game engine is so... The game so engine, utilized. it's really robust and we know how to control the characters really yeah. well at this point, you know. Oh, it's definitely a learning curve. Yeah. And there's no and lip sync in, in, in that no lip -sync. It's also oh, yeah. on a, uh, we, it's on a console, so we can put four characters on one yeah, Xbox. I, and with, um, yeah. with Panics, we have to use a PC for each character. Okay. And then with Strangerhood, you don't have the direct control over the characters that you do. And, you know, you can't actually like control... To right, you've got to, like, try to tell them where to go and hope that they yeah. follow your instructions. So. Yeah, that's the big difference there is, like, when we're doing the Strangerhood and the Sims, you know, you just you have to tell a character in the game what to do, and you hope that it does it. Whereas when we're shooting Red vs. Blue, I, you know, we have to tell Jason what to do with the controller, and Up we and hope down. that he does it. Um, are you restricted in your story ideas um, by what the game is capable of? Well, I, I guess we are in certain ways, you know. Um, but we try to use that to our advantage, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of the humor in the show for gamers has been... Um, you know, either referenced or built around different elements of the game, you know. Yeah. There was a lot of jokes early on about capturing the flag. And, I mean, I think that, you know, if you're not interested in in video games, it's still funny because, you know, there are ironic situations yeah. and, they, you know, humorous elements. It's but if you're a fan really of... Fun. It's legitly funny. Yeah. Like, yeah I, well, we hope so. I and mean, if you watch it, but you're a gamer, you get a whole other whole level of enjoyment. Right. Um, and on a technical level, because I've tried to figure it out, and I've come up with a couple of ways. But how do you actually make... How do you do it from start to finish? The way we do it is we have... Um, we use two or more Xboxes. One yep. Xbox has just one character on it, yep. and that character's point so of view is our camera. camera yeah. And the other one has multiple characters, because it doesn't matter if the screen's split up, because yep. you don't see what they see. They're the it's actors. The camera and so the, the first Xbox will set up the shot that he wants, the cameraman will, and the, ex the characters on the other Xbox will run into the shot to get so set up funny. how they want to go. Exactly and then exactly like... Like the just run yeah, it, it just run it right into the right into your yeah. editing software and capture it yeah crop out the stuff and look at it make sure it works um do you get much support from the corporation like the people that you you're using their creations Bungie and Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft and Bungie do they do they help you or they've you been know? extremely supportive yeah. yeah and our our first actual paying work ever came from them we did uh, these videos that would play in the uh, video game kiosks that they have in the major retail stores in yep. the States. Well. And they, they hired us to do those. They've been extremely progressive and extremely helpful. I do really so. appreciate Coming back yeah. to the website. Um, Red vs. Blue has been compared to everything from Clerks, uh, Seinfeld to Star Wars. What movies or TVs, uh, TV shows do you think actually influenced the writing of the show? Of Red vs. Blue? Yeah. Gosh, that's wow. a good question. Yeah. A I would question. say Clerks, yeah. Star Wars, and Seinfeld. <laughs> 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 um, and what's the one I always like to say that Bernie ripped off? Uh, Rick Star? <laughs> Dark Star. Dark Star. Dark, yeah. What yeah. called Dark Star? Dark John Star. Carpenter's uh, first yeah. or second film. And is that? And so there's there is the influences, and they're kind of you can see them. And I can. I don't. Yeah. Know. Bernie denies it. I didn't deny <laughs> it. But, yeah. uh, I don't know. I think that um, Red vs. Blue, even though it's it's set in a shoot 'em up, you know, kind of yeah. world. It's still mainly like jokes about bureaucracy. It's, I mean, it's kind of like 